I was trying to think when I or when we first met Tamsin, we know it was at some sort of biological conference, but um, and I can remember walking into the likes of Vic Notil conferences and things like that, but I can't remember the first. So it was just there was a period of time where this really bubbly, interesting lady started popping up. <laughs> and it was always a pleasure to have conversations and and just sort of um, yeah, it was a welcome face to see at the conferences because she had you know so much energy and passion around the topics. So, so yeah, so Tamsin's most well known in this scene, in our scene, for farming revolution, and it's a really awesome. Um, uh, so far, it's mostly been a media um, type company bringing stories to life, and in the last year, in the back of the Ute has been the most famous. So, I hope everyone has seen at least one in the back of the U. Anyone not seen that in the back of the U? No, I think everyone's seen at least one. Awesome, because you'll get to a real flavour of what um, Tamsin's, um, the passion and energy she brings. And like, whilst they're funny, they're really important conversations because usually it's asking the questions that we, um, it might that that seem really obvious that we'd all like to know the answers to, but they they're not they're not generally you know they're they're um, yeah they're different sorts of ways of approaching it. So that's what I've always loved. And so with the today she's going to talk about a um, new project, which is the regenerative business directory, um, which is all about promoting and endorsing regenerative businesses, which is exemplary in what we're trying to do as well so I'm super excited and that's why we invited her to um to present and yeah she's also within that she's able to um I guess put herself out there more now as a, a regenerative business coach and we had a good chat about what that means compared to what um, we're doing and for for Tamsin her real skill levels are or if it's not obvious in marketing and media type things so the way that she could support regenerative businesses to me is going to be really um, um, exemplified I can't think of the right word so enough I won't say too much about it because that's your job to do Tamsin um, Tamsin's literally in the back seat of the youth because she's on tour so I'll hand it over to you Tamsin shoot Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much, Rochelle. Uh, yes, those early days at the conferences were quite feisty with, with me. Uh, my life seemed like it was falling down around my ears and I just recovered from that breakdown. So, yeah, you <laughs> that I was actually having panic attacks and I was going up and down like anyway. So that was the more personal thing that you didn't actually see. Um, you just saw this bubbly person. But uh, so what I'm going to do today is my first thing is the question that I asked myself was, how am I going to explain this holistically? When we verbalize something, in, in my opinion, it's very linear. So you are only talking about one thing at one time when you know that everything else is interconnected. I'm going to come back to that question, but there were other questions as well. What is the regenerative business directory? So if you don't know, then hopefully by the end of this session, you will. Why is it so important? Why is it different to um, other directories? How does it work differently? And what makes this regenerative? So I'm hoping that holistically, by talking linear, <laughs> I'm actually going to be able to cover all that. So how do I explain this holistically? And in this session, I don't believe I will be able to cover everything. So that's why I made four videos and they're on the YouTube channel and uh, they're under the playlist regenerative business directory. First one is the demo, how to actually use it. Second one is an article I wrote for a newspaper identifying how much time we spend trying to market our own small businesses with very few responses like we're on social media it's all about likes and thumbs up and people can thumbs up something without even knowing what you're doing like we all do it we just oh it's so and so has actually put something up so we'll just press the like button but we haven't actually read it so that type of marketing isn't actually working uh the presentation i did at kandanga farm store will will cover the circular uh, well closed loop system I didn't have enough time to explain the circular economy but it's very similar once once you get into the 
realms of understanding what a closed loop system is and the circular economy just has a knock on effect. And then there's another video. The last one is the concept. So why is it different? How is this going to benefit everybody? Why, why is it not hierarchical? Why is it a network? Why is it closed loop? Why is it everybody collaborating? That sort of thing. So obviously I can't cover all those topics today. But what I do want to say, yes, so I'm going to go back to that question. How do I explain this holistically? So what I want to do is use some imagery. What my impression of regenerative businesses is like a solar system. So we've all seen from those photos from space, the great big swirly solar system. So there's colors, there's gases, there's stars, there's planets, there's everything involved in this beautiful never ending flux, this movement, the, the spiral, however you want to imagine it, just imagine it now, because that is what the regenerative business directory is hoping to uh, generate and create. Now I want to move on to another piece of imagery where you have, so I'm actually going to explain farming revolution platform and the regenerative business with using this analogy. So you have a big empty conference room and there's lots of space and all that space is that flux that never ending energy within this empty room and now you have the tables being moved in by the staff and the tables are all being set up all over the place and then around the table so they've got the white tablecloth on just to give you a bit more imagery and around these tables are all the chairs placed now the way I'm going to describe it is the space in between all of those tables and chairs is farming revolution. That's the platform. And the tables are the categories of the regenerative business directory. And so, for example, each of the category will have you guys. So you're all the independent businesses or the small businesses, and you're all going to be sitting around each table with your category so for example Rochelle will be at the coaching and consultants table uh, Martin he may be there but I'd like him in the seed table <laughs> um, I would be at the global uh, storytelling table so I'm just going to share with you that is all the categories there and there's always room for adding more for example, I, I will, this is, was like the pre, the mock-up, so um, that's why things change a bit, but the honey will actually be beekeepers and honey. So you can see that there are a lot of businesses, different businesses in this conference room under one roof that would never actually normally share the same space. Now, the only thing that's in common is the fact that they are regeneratively uh, owned and regeneratively run businesses. So this is why it's so, so exciting. So you have the usual directory, which I would call classifiers linear. So for example, let's take the classic uh, yellow pages. Now, yellow pages, you look for a plumber, you look for a carpenter, you look for a gardener. And in some of them, they'll say gardener also see lawn mowers or something like that. And it's very linear because what you're actually doing is you're looking up people that you have no idea who they are and you probably just pick the ones that have got a because they're at the beginning of the alphabet because it's an alphabetical order and you pay as a business to be in that and the only advertising they do is what you see on tv which is yellow pages find somebody you know we, we know that classic advert with this going back to that conference room on those tables you are now exposed to all the other businesses that are the same as yours and you can talk to them and you don't feel threatened and you it's not competition because what you're doing within on that table in the category you're learning their strengths and weaknesses so what you're doing is you're building a jigsaw puzzle within your own industry and you're supporting each other you're also finding out where you can help each other and where they can help you so now you've got strength in numbers and that collaboration. And it's really important that we get rid of this, oh, well, you're doing the same thing as me and your competition and I don't like you because it's not healthy for starters. And we can do so much better if we join together. Now then, once 
let's say it's lunch lunch time and we all shift tables and we all go and see each of the tables okay so in your mind you should have something looking like this <laughs> can everybody see that yes all right so there are all the tables all the chairs all the connections now i didn't actually do it because i wasn't going to do it justice but what you have to imagine now you're on all the different tables all the different categories learning about what they're doing learning where you can help them learning where you can support them learning where you can network them and also vice versa you're learning where somebody can help you and this to me well i'll i'll send this out to everybody what what does that actually remind you of and imagine it had all these little other little lines all connected as well there's lots of things so I just wanted to get some visual imagery happening in people's minds so feel free to unmute and just let me know it just makes me think of networking oh Christine's put up in the chat fungi Correct. Yeah. What else? Flower. Flower. Yeah, yeah the seeds. The flower. That's a good one. I hadn't thought about that. Oh, it works. Okay, cool. Oh, you guys are much better than me. <laughs> Anything else? Like it could be at a molecular level. Any balloons. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, the photocellia, uh, ciliates that go dancing in and out. <laughs> like flowers on the tulips on the end of a stick and they push out and grab their little microbes and then come back in cool yeah wow okay so if i say snowflake that's really boring isn't it <laughs> <laughs> so to me it reminds me of a snowflake but the reason is when you join a load of snowflakes together guess what you end up with a snowball and then you put the snowball at the top of the mountain and you roll it down and you get an ever increasing snowball effect or if you're lucky, an avalanche. So that's the type of regenerative business directory that I'm wanting us all to create. And as you can see, farming revolution is fluxing through the space in between. Well done, guys. I, that was very, very good. Okay. So where does farming revolution come in? Now that people, obviously, there's still that connection between popping yourself on uh, the directory and paying for the listing okay so that hasn't changed from the yellow pages to the regenerative business directory but what happens in return is that farming revolution profits from that that's where i earn the money and the marketing side is now my job. So this is where the endorsing and the promoting comes into play. So that's with the making the videos, organizing events, doing pre presentations, getting the word out there. And all of us are involved in capturing customers within this directory because not only are regenerative businesses going there to see other regenerative businesses and to a secure work for example or encourage uh maybe getting together and and forming an event and and having a centralized point that you can all go to uh the customers also can go to this centralized point and they might think that oh well i'm just looking for some bread that's made by um uh, bakers that where I know where the grains come from they know that who's milling it and they know the farmer so they have that knock-on effect but while they're there uh, they might go oh wait a minute there's a butcher and they're just down the road as well so now that they've they're expanding their uh, places that they shop at but also as businesses it that you're expanding your customer base as well with the profit that farming revolution gains from people being on this regenerative uh directory like i said this is where i come into play with making the videos so this is how i'm actually earning that money so although you've paid for your business to be listed as far as i'm concerned i haven't earned that money yet i've just created a platform i now have to step up a gear and get the word out there 
And that's where the marketing comes into play. Believe it or not, when you are a small business, there's a real fine line between being a victim of your own success or being a victim of the constant battle to become successful. This takes the pressure off both ways. So for example, with my riding school, I actually was a victim of my own success. It was so successful, I couldn't keep up with it. If I had a directory like this, and there were other regenerative uh, horse riding schools, just for example, I could have actually tapped into them and said, look, I've got 10 riders that can I just offload for now? And we could have all worked together and vice versa for them as well. And the other one is that we are slogging our guts out trying to have those thumbs up on Facebook and and some form of going viral because that's the pressure on us all the time to become successful in the social media space. And imagine if you're all under the same umbrella and you're all doing that for each other anyway and Farming Revolution is just that extra little bit that's getting it out there to the customers as well as all of you individual businesses. Okay, so for example, if you are a cafe or a restaurant, how nice would it be to see this as a centerpiece for your table? The candle was just my artistic bit. Uh, but in the background, you're talking to your husband or wife or whoever, your friends and conversation runs out a little bit and you're like oh what's this and you pick it up in the middle and it explains regenerative farming on it has a little bit of an explanation so I had to be as broad as possible and this can change this was only a mock-up and it will actually have the uh, QR code as well so what is regeneration um, it's a whole systems approach when producing food and fiber farming with nature improves soil quality and plant health to regenerate your lives support and follow the wedge tailed eagle. So that's one of the aspects of this regenerative business directory is that it's the centralized bit is this wedge tailed eagle now what do wedge tailed eagles do they saw over all of the businesses they're in that space moving around um, and sharing all like minded parts of your lives and and everything that that comes into play with being regenerative and creating a society that understands what regeneration is and how important it is for the greater good there are other things as well i'll just play this for you so on the back of that centerpiece it's more about us and the important thing is what can you do as a customer because people are sitting there thinking, oh, well, this is all very well. I know that Joe Bloggs down the road is doing this and Anne McKay up the road is doing this. Um, but what as I, I can do as a consumer? Well, here you go. It will actually spell it out for you. Go to the regenerative business directory, have a look. And in the businesses, you guys can have whatever you like. If you're a cafe, you can have the centerpiece. Uh, if you are a shop, you could have all the centerpiece, but also where you can just share and get the word out there. So that wedge-tailed eagle is fluttering everywhere. Of course, there's some stubby coolers there. I just sort of practice with those. So going back to that imagery that you created about the solar system, that is basically what Farming Revolution stands for that beautiful flowing energy with sparkly lights. I like glitter. <laughs> uh, and it's ever expanding as well. That's the important bit that you have to understand. It's, it's so big, it's so holistic. It takes into account everything. And if I've missed something out, then I will just suck it into that solar system and, and keep spinning and, and doing it that way. So I think I've answered all my questions and I'm not sure that I've gone for long enough, but um, that's the end of my presentation. Thank you, Tamsin. There's a bunch of questions. I just thought I didn't ask you at the start whether you wanted to be interrupted. So um... actually, no, thank you. Good, because <laughs> that actually flowed. So thank you. <laughs> No, that was that was fantastic. Um, I've just got to say feedback straight away. At first, when you explained about the imagery in the solar system, I didn't catch up. I wasn't there yet. And then as you started to explain that conference room, um, 
I started to get excited. I, I, I grasped that and then going back to the original imagery. So I suppose there's a process in, in bringing as many people as along as you can with imagery, but I thought it was a fantastic way to, to describe it. And um, yeah, now I've got this sort of evergreen conference sort of, um, you know, how we get excited at a conference about meeting people and networking like some way of marketing it in a way that is what about a conference that never ended <laughs> that's yes. like you can keep networking and uh, anyway so um and then the first question was will it be on its own independent website for easier marketing and pixels seo have not seen it on tiktok for the directory Okay, so at the moment we've had issues with this. I don't know what a plugin is. If you know about uh, websites and and being online and creating and coding and all that, there's a plugin issue. So no, the, the business directory is not actually up yet. I was really hoping that it would be, and I have said to Kelly, will it be before Christmas? <laughs> because it, it would be a perfect Christmas present for regenerative businesses. Uh, what was the second part of that question ah oh, so no what i the reason why i stuck it onto my website is you've got to understand that there are customers who have never even heard of regeneration or regenerative farming as much as damon gamo has actually tried to push with the the movies 2040 and all the good stuff that he's doing there are still people that have never heard of regenerative anything so um uh, the website farming revolution website is again another little platform where people can start to educate themselves and that's with the centerpiece it's got that link to the the website but also on there it will have the direct um link to the regenerative business directory as well but i don't think there's any point in sending customers to a directory if they don't understand what regeneration is yep yeah. yep yeah. oh, that's great um, and um, how will the businesses be vetted? What's the criteria? Yeah, so one of the things, I mean, this is obviously a very controversial area. Uh, majority of businesses, I would say, wouldn't even try if they thought that they were not up to standard. I'm not targeting purists because um, the purists fit in on this scale, but I'm also, there's people that are in the transitional stage that need to come along. And that's why I made that video of the concept. So if you, if you don't think that you fit in yet, then you're probably not on the right path. And that's where you need to use a directory to help you as a customer. So yeah, and, and if there are people in there, you guys were gonna say, look that person is not regenerative you guys will, will as a network will actually speak up and tell me if if I, they've got through the the web <laughs> that it and and actually are on the directory um because yeah and, and i will take them down and and i will have a conversation before i do and and so just to clarify a few things there will be a lot of curly conversations that i'll be having and i'm not scared to do it mm -hmm. yeah I like the way you answered me, Tamsin. You just said oh, I would have to straight away. You just said I I want to know what their values are, and and I was like, yeah, cool, you know. So, um, but that that's a uh, a subjective way of uh, I suppose, um, yeah, connecting with whoever the the spokesperson would be. Um, but but that was one that was one thing that you said straight away. Uh, and I understand completely and utterly the frustration that we have and that exists with corporate greed and corporate companies. I completely understand it. And I also don't want to penalise these small businesses that have grown as well. So there's not one rule. It will be, you know, if I'm having a hard time, I'll discuss it with you, Mob. I mean, that's what yeah. this whole coaching community is about is, is just bashing ideas and the heads together and, and coming up with some form of result. <laughs> That's cool. Um, Christine's got a hand up. Jump in, Christine. Uh, well, Rochelle, you pretty well covered what I was going to raise and that was values. Mm. I was just going to ask, you know, what is the first initial contact point that a potential customer has with you, uh, Tamazon? And 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 you've already talked about values and so you know i think that's what attracted me in the very beginning to soil restoration farming when rochelle and justin were coming over here 
they had it structured that they would coordinate the seminars and they approached, I, I'm not too sure whether they approached the companies or the companies approached them. I don't know which way it went, but before they would allow a company to have a stand at their seminar, they had to meet a value. They had to have a code of values there. And so Rochelle and Justin would only let reputable biological businesses have an association with soil restoration farming. And that was a really, really, that was important to me and made me feel safe because I knew then that I could go along to each table and have a conversation and know I'm not having a, a snake oil salesman trying to take me for a ride. Um, so yeah, that holistic approach of, of values, I think is more important than the dollar value of a company. That's it. Yeah. Thanks, Christine. That's a good point because if I think about that, I, um, whatever intuition told me to call those companies and I approached them mostly, um, maybe one or two approached me, uh, that was a, like a vetting conversation and, and it really wasn't trying to find um, the um, what was wrong in in. But I I would just explore, you know, the purpose and and intent of that organisation and and in the conversation, you know, that yeah you would find that there was a fit. So I think yeah number of employees and turnover and that sort of thing isn't indicative of of where an organization's at so i actually just raised the bar by you know talking about purpose and intent and things like that and um yeah i think being open to how you um vet people can be um yeah it, it'll be an evolving process i imagine <laughs> but, but yeah it's a good question yeah no absolutely it is evolving and and with any business startup i i will be learning a truckload to start with and that there will be mistakes made, no doubt, but my standard is most people should know by now with, with the farming revolution and who I've chosen to have on my videos and, and that sort of thing. My it just because somebody says they're regenerative, I don't get my camera out <laughs> until I've listened to them and heard them and, and gone, mm, okay, well, you're kind of a little bit there, but you you've not really got the whole picture. And it doesn't matter if they're not actually there yet, as long as they're understanding the whole picture. Um, that's the really important bit. But well, yes, the standard has to stay high, definitely. And that's where I see a coaching opportunity for you, Tams. And, you know, when you sort of say you're not there yet, um, instead of just saying you're not there yet, it's just exploring <laughs> what um, things don't sit well for some reason. Um, yeah. So I, I think there's a lot of opportunity to actually expand in your um your coaching uh, for those sorts of businesses mm. yeah and i mean wouldn't that be lovely as as a potential um somebody that's actually needing or wanting coaching to have them come to you initially to have their business put onto the listings and then them knowing that it's not 100 percent, and then having somebody right there to to help them talk them through mm. yeah that, that's um I hadn't thought about that yeah there, there's definitely a foot in the door for people that are putting their hands up saying yes I want to be part of this directory but there's conversations to be had about you know what does it really mean to be regenerative and that sort of thing so yeah, yeah and, and collaborative and networking and just setting aside that I, I, I enjoy being a part of capitalism. I do enjoy that because there are some people that just don't want to create their own businesses. So I want to give those businesses an opportunity, but without that awful competition, because yes. it's actually no fun have being a, a little business when you've got all these at you. Yeah. Um, and collaboration is really important that people actually really understand the network and, and I'm, yeah. So as for question, Justin says, will there be a thingy explaining the difference between regenerative and sustainability? Ah, what's a thingy? Like an yeah, exactly, that was his word. Um, <laughs> on the actual website, well, you mean? No, no, I suppose you where your little table thing was or, um, yeah, or on the website or something like that, just saying, yeah, basically, you know, we, we you know, where whatever your uh, definition of, 
sustainability compared to you know because most people hear the uh sustainable 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 and then we go hang on sustainable sort of just means you stay in one place really and it's like yeah so you know but it's your definition so yeah will you have a a definition explaining why or if regen is better than yeah okay that's a good idea because of course regenerative at the end of the day once we have regenerated we will then become sustainable whereas at the moment we are not sustainable so we have to regenerate my suggestion yeah. is that there's going to be an application form, isn't there, of some type? Well, no, they, they fill it in straight directly online. Yeah, and an application on, yeah. Yeah, so they fill in all, all their bits and pieces that they want. And then, of course, it because it, Kelly and I did wonder whether we should, there should be a, a lag period where I actually go in and then sort of vet these businesses. Yeah. And I said no because I, I don't really want to be that center person that's vetting people per se. If, of, if, there's, if it's obvious, of course, I'll step in. If it's something that I've missed, I want everybody else to be, uh, um, what's the word, like committed to keep the standard of a level. Because we, we, this is a, a platform. This is not about me being a hierarchical headmistress with my whip. <laughs> this is about all of us taking responsibility for keeping that standard high. Mm. I um, Interesting one, um, we we're just talking about this in our community last night in Centropic. You are like, you are still the leader of this and, you know, the steward leader, if you like. And I get what you mean by not being controlling the whole thing. Um, there is sometimes to maintain the integrity of it, th there, there can be, and I think you said that before, there can be that need to step up and say, no, that's not okay. But yeah, my thought was uh, with an application that one question is what does regenerative mean to you? And another, you know, what are your values? You know, yes, just right. just asking those questions, it's hard to sort of, be really dodgy and answer them well you know <laughs> it's like yes. it really does go to the heart of um what you're about um now, and there are so many different answers for that what does regenerative mean for you oh as, as as many as there are people in the world there should yeah. there should be that sort of diversity but yeah. um but it still goes to the heart of your intent i think yeah 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 that's a good idea yeah now christine's got a hand up jump in uh, well, you pretty well touched on what I was thinking, Rochelle, is that, um, Tamazan, this is your baby and you're birthing it and you need to take it first steps and guide it and nurture it and mentor it. Like just with my experience with Circle Process, what you're doing, um, Circle Process would be a beautiful way for you to gather collective intelligence for you to finally decide exactly where you want to go um, and so I'm just I'm already being because um, I love your creativity and I love how you storytell and I believe that what you're going to do will work I, I, I believe that 100% that it's going to work for you yeah one thing I didn't mention actually was uh, the best form of marketing and promotion is a word of mouth. However, it can work in the opposite direction as well. And all you need is one rotten apple. So to build up that reputation to a standard where the one rotten apple wouldn't affect the success of everybody, I don't know whether it's ever been done. I, don't, I haven't, <laughs> I'm talking in no man's land here because uh, yeah, you have to get a the respect and the reputation that is of high enough value that it's not affected by a rotten apple. So my thoughts there is having clear boundaries, and that's going back to the vetting and things like that, um, so that you know when when you say rotten apple that there'll be something, some boundary that they've overstepped. So, um, you know, you might even bring clean communication, you know, print, some sort of principles that people need to abide by um, so that they know what is okay and what's not okay. So, um, yeah, that 
other other thoughts sorry we're complicating something that you um you know no i don't think so because this is this from this is where i am is that i'll cross that bridge when i come to it i know it's a possibility yeah i can't deal with it yet because i don't know about it whereas say maybe for somebody like you rochelle you actually go this is a possibility i'm dealing with it right now yeah um so yeah i and for something like this it would be such a shame that it imploded so mm. the big bang theory and then the opposite <laughs> of my solar system purely because i just didn't cross enough t's and dot enough i's at the very beginning yeah i'm hearing you my suggestion is that you would expect that to happen mm. <laughs> <laughs> expect yeah. the worst and plan for the worst and yeah. and you know yeah we, what is a rotten apple in your mind you know is it um yeah whatever it is um I suppose have some structures in place so that you know that that yeah that that people actually know I think the biggest thing is not knowing what the boundaries are um yeah. so what's not okay and what is okay hmm Anyway, it's all feedback at this point, Tam. No, it's beautiful. It's great. I wasn't expecting it to be this full on. It's, yeah, in the back of the ute. <laughs> <laughs> um, a couple of little things that probably, you know, they'll just evolve anyway. But I was wondering if there was, I, I didn't notice there was something for sort of health and well-being or wellness as a. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was subconsciously conscious. <laughs> Uh, because I had thought about that and I think I will add something to do with health. There is other regenerative businesses. The trouble is you open up that can of worms. I mean, health. <laughs> and I don't know how to vet that. I think that was my issue. Um, mm. it, yeah, where are the regenerative boundaries where health is concerned? Uh, there's so many different things out there yeah I don't I don't know that one that's why I left it off I think yes because <laughs> it's big but I know I do know so for example Cheryl um with Solemn Farm she grows her own plants and herbs and flowers and has a distillery on farm and produces her own uh, essential oils that's pure regenerative business there mm. and it's health and I would love to cater for her and, and other farmers stroke um health practitioners I suppose they called but yeah like I said it's a big can of worms isn't it? it's Pandora's box that one well it's definitely connected to regenerative and, and I'm thinking of so for training courses and things like that there um, is one for for training and courses yeah, yeah definitely that. I couldn't remember what I saw cool I can bring it back up there was uh Justin said I'm looking at Lance is it going to be local or Australasia I suppose oh. there's no reason sorry you answered Mm -hmm. uh, yeah okay so I like to start small <laughs> if Australia's small um and see I, I want to iron out all these things that we're now discussing um in Australia and then this template can go worldwide in in each country yeah definitely oh and that's one thing I didn't mention um yes so your uh subscription or whatever you'd like to call it uh you can go you can choose two categories so i'll use martin because he's easy one to to use he would be coaches and then seed supplies you don't pay extra as long as it's the same business so for me farming revolution it would be coaches farming revolution would be global storytelling and martin ningen seed graders would be the coach and the seed supplies uh yeah that's really important because of course there are a lot of us that sort of straddle a couple of I'm that. wondering why you would limit it to two like is there any reason why you know is it going to be a disadvantage you know or cost to you if somebody is in five categories uh, well it's it's then not a fair playing field really is it um no. just other places to find yeah anyway that you can think on that that was just in the back of my mind I can hear I, I can hear Thames in there because I know when I used to fill out the applications to go to a field day, you go, well, hang on, are we doing that? There's a bit of a touch. We're trying to be as many as possible. Yeah, and you're like, <laughs> yeah, let's bombard this catalogue. Um, you mentioned subscription. Uh, everyone would probably love to know what you have in mind there. Is it accessible to these coaches, for instance, to us? Yeah. 
Okay, so the price is the first 100 people to sign up. Okay, so first of all, Kelly and I need uh, some beta people. <laughs> Not to beat you up, but to, to actually have a go and iron out if there's anything. So you join up. And you obviously don't just practice it because I've asked you to, you actually want to join up and it's a hundred dollars uh, per annum for your lifetime, however long that you want to be. So it's an incredible deal, a hundred dollars for, for that. And you still have all the options of, of signing up for the two business categories. Uh, and if you let it lapse, of course, then you pay, what everybody else pays and that is a dollar a day plus gst and that works out to be well 365 plus gst so it's just over 400 dollars, and that is still incredible value for money because if you are a coffee drinkers i'm not but you buy a coffee a day that's way more than <laughs> this dollar a day and the way i look at it is seven dollars seventy a week if you get just one person extra customer a week through doing this and you you won't you'll get more you will be that victim of success <laughs> that's what I'm hoping uh then you know you've scored seven dollars seventy a week for this to get yeah that one extra customer a week once it's up and going I'm hoping when I get home after this little trip the business directory will be happening I selected about 30 people to have a go at being my beta uh, so I'll send you the email and you can go through it all and then I will release the rest so it will then be open to everybody do you have four payments in a year <laughs> not at that price <laughs> <laughs> thanks Justin <laughs> no it's going to be one big payment <laughs> and the thing is as you all know, I'm not financially driven. I'm doing this because I'm passionate about adding value to businesses and to the greater good of, of everybody, uh, including the environment, our animals, people's businesses. Um, buffering what we is on the horizon. We don't know what's on the horizon with this whole, um, what do they call it, centralised currency, digital currency that the banks are all wanting to, the banks are our enemies, basically. <laughs> Uh, so we have to buffer as a community, as this network, and I want people to be able to afford it so that the more the numbers, it's a numbers game here, we need masses amounts of regenerative businesses so that we can just be protected. I think it's excellent. It's a very, very good value. What about listing events? Will there be a calendar or something on there? Uh, good question. Actually, on my website, there's already an events page that oh. I set up. So I connected people's websites. If they if they were listing an event on their website, I would link it to the Farming Revolution website under events. And so people could click on, of course, nobody updated anything on their website. So, but yes, so there's definitely that option there. Is there a map? Or... Yes, yeah, so you need to go onto the demonstration video and it'll explain it there, but it's really cool. What you do is the map, when you scroll down, the map comes up automatically of where you are looking at the computer. So if, if I was on the goal, well, now I would be in Canada, and up pops all of the little map tags of all the regenerative businesses in this area. If you want to specify, no, I just want biological application, you type that in and only those map tags will pop up in your area of the map. Yeah, I was really impressed. So, so that was Kelly's idea. So I was like, no way, that's so good. <laughs> yeah, so we and don't go... So you can zoom out as well and, and see the whole of maybe New South Wales as well. Yeah, cool. And it's a good way actually of doing your own marketing or your own business if you're what's the competition because we don't have competition in the area <laughs> who are our friends yeah that's it who are our friends Kathy's saying we need masses of regenerative businesses if we're going to have a collective enjoyable future yep hey. spot on and that's where your job is as a business to spread the word remember spreading the word is the greatest form of marketing just call me COVID yes yeah. <laughs> 
Well, actually, I did think my little snowflake looked like a virus. <laughs> I thought virus. I thought that's not what you're going for, though. <laughs> a good virus, yes. Yeah. Any other questions or comments? Alan, jump in. Uh, yeah, so just um, heading back to where the, the discussion was around how you'd vet people and things to go on, I was thinking about it, I thought it is so varied and to what might be classed as regenerative and um, and so just sort of thinking that I guess it, it perhaps if you have some guidelines as to what you, you know, the, the sort of people that are coming on, the sort of values that they perhaps adhere to and then leave it up to the consumer to actually work out is this something that they actually want to do. Uh, you know, to let them do do a bit more of the the of the of the work because um, is somebody that uses some chemical not regenerative at all or is you know do we know that organics is not all good for the soil you know okay, you know not necessarily and so on so yeah just just that thought yeah thank you because when I set up farming revolution three years ago that was one of the really big things oh no my brain's just done a complete whitewash of forgetting um that's it educating the consumer sorry how could i forget so that they can make the informed decisions so that they can ask the right questions yeah so so spot on there yeah definitely and i liked um uh rochelle's what does regenerative mean to you because if it's not right, if it's well selling lots of products, <laughs> then we have to hand it over to the customer that, well, okay, is that of a good enough reason or value for you to actually buy the product from there or do business with them or or however you want to put it? Yeah, that is super important. And it's that's why it's part of the website, the regenerative directory is part of the website so that people can just refresh. Like I even read it and go, oh yeah, I'd forgotten I'd written that. Um and uh and just and it's very basic as well it doesn't go in too much depth um but there is one page that just basically says what's the difference between industrial and regenerative um and and sort of explains as well because i do not want to bash people it's farming is hard enough as we know anyway um bashing people into alignment is not the way to go encouragement and as we all know because we're coaches so uh but yes, I like the guidelines, definitely. Guidelines and, mm, yeah, no, I'm, I've learned loads today. Thank you so much, everybody. I, I, I was so nervous doing this, but I've actually had a really, really cool, enjoyable time. Okay, um, so what's the most useful thing you got out of today? Marcia, ha. Ah. <laughs> that collaboration is really useful, just with, Tams and collaborating with all of us and all the questions and comments and whatever, her head's probably spinning and she's going to go, where do I start <laughs> again? <laughs> cool. All right. Thank you, Marcia. All right. Cool. And Ellen. Yeah, thanks, Tams. And it was really interesting to hear more about what you're doing. And so for me, what was the most I got out of it? Uh, learning more about the platform and what you're planning to do. So good luck. It's uh, it's fantastic. Thank you. All right, Christine. Yes, it was. I enjoyed, I enjoyed your presentation. And I just want to wish you all the best. And um, yeah, no. I've just got a feeling that this is going to work for you and it will be that little rocket going up into the sky. So good luck, Tamsin. All right, cool, thank you. And I uh, also learned that you can have a lot of productivity in the back of a ute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> Lens. Yes, thank you, Tamsin, for having us all in the back of your ute, all packed in there. It's been great. So uh, certainly appreciated uh, learning and understanding more about uh, your platform. Um, but what I got out of it, what stuck for me, was um, the collaboration of this community to bring uh, new ideas and probably things you hadn't thought about before. So that uh, that was that was great to see the, the community in action. So well done. All right. Thanks, Lance. Yeah, Kathy. I have a lot of faith in it because um, Tamsin's 
obviously got the energy to and momentum and intent and and everything to get this moving. So I have I have a lot of um, high expectations for it as well. Um, thank you, Tamsin. And also, I just love the different perspectives and um, collective wisdom in this group. Thanks. Thank you, Kathy. Yep, and we know when Tamsin's running a 10, that's when we got productivity too. Um, okay, Martin. With all you smart people, this is terrible going last. Because everybody's got it nailed and he, uh, oh, well, yeah, nothing left to say nearly. Fantastic presentation, Tamsin, well done. I uh, love what you're doing with that. And the, the thing that really heartens me all the time is just the, the value of this community, the strength and, and just the people that are in it. And really we're rolling this out as a, uh, as a horizontal relationship, not the vertical, like everyone's equal. And, you know, it is a safe place. Like this is cool as. Thank you. Okay, Tamsin, what did you get out of today? <laughs> Yes, that's right. The solar system in my brain. Uh, yes, uh, increased productivity in the back of the ute. That's very good there, Justin. And um, just honestly, all of your feedback. Thank you so much. Um, sometimes I think it's a little bit tricky for some people to sort of go, it's not critical, but it's just, what's the word? Like being constructive. And it's really important that everybody's brave enough to be constructive because especially somebody like me does not learn if you just say oh that was wonderful i have to have that constructive criticism um but encouragement constructive encouragement that's the one so thank you everybody for your feedback it's awesome so what i got out of this today was um tamsin's intention to not want to control this platform yet with the beautiful feedback loop that's happening and that she actually invited us into so we weren't invited before and that's the thing you won't get feedback unless you know you actually um you know say that you want it because otherwise we don't want to tell you if your baby's ugly <laughs> but so so th this was th this was significant so thank you for inviting us all um and and you even suggested, you know, into the future that that's what you want. Um, but I also, I, I felt like some gaps were exposed as to how that um, you'll maintain the, the structure, like we talked about those um, boundaries so that we can um, not just wait for things to happen, but um, be able to sort of have that in place so that we know when something's not okay in the in in this directory so if we were all to understand that and anybody coming in basically if they were to understand what was um what the boundaries were then i think that um there'll be a lot more chance chance for success and not getting messy so um yeah look forward to supporting you know yeah you'll have a lot to think about but but supporting any um um feedback around what what those um, boundaries or structure could look like um, to keep yeah because I mean it's it, it is the way I see it the, my big connection is it's creating community <laughs> and that's what I, I love about it so if, in order for that to be like usually there's a lot of excitement and take up and then it's like right how do we maintain a healthy community so yeah anyway thank you Thank you. And um, yeah, no, that was beautiful to, to finish on Rochelle. Uh, I'd like everybody to, it is my baby initially, but once you all join in, it is all of our baby. And, and so as with aunties and uncles, we all need to protect it. So maybe that's the way forwards that we, we look at it. Yeah. That's how the baby gets better looking and it's not such an ugly baby anymore. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Takes a village. <laughs>